So my fucking coat is in police custody? At the moment, yes. My coat has been arrested. Dear 16, 8, 16 a.m. Most of the housemates are asleep. Tracy, Maggot and Ruler face eviction later today. Preston, Michael and Pete are in the kitchen. I can't bear the voice today. I can't bear it. My voice? Ruler's voice. That's the frame of mind you've woken up with now. Mm, it is. It's too stuck in my head. He's <laughs> going through one of his phases. Anti-ruler phase. For Christ's sake, ruler, do not come out now. <coughs> and that's just a disgusting thing. <coughs> that's what's on your picture. Filth and depravity. Peter's picture? Puppy killer. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy killer. You know, she's got a croak in her voice. Mm. You know her, Lulu. Rulu. Rulu. <laughs> Zulu. Do you have a lighter, darling? Uh, just appears you that... had one. You had one earlier when you in came your... in. Yeah, in your makeup bag. I went through your makeup bag looking for. I the... saw you. You had one. I went through your makeup bag you looking for the fountain clothes. of youth, darling. You know you had one. Is that your lighter? Fuck off, Radhead. Um, hello, big brother. Can we have a quick chorus of Ginga Guri Guri Guri? Ginga Guri 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 Come on, join in, everyone. Sing along and I sing. And all you young ones who trend in the hip rappers. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven forty three AM Chantel, Ruler and Michael are in the bedroom. Best to be moved the stuff off the floor first, don't it? Huh? It's best to be moved the stuff off the floor first. Oh, I've only got 20 minutes though. Preston is in the diary room. I just, I just think everyone's going to nominate me now because <coughs> they've seen what happens. Do you know what I mean? They've seen what otherwise has been hidden from view. It, you know, they've seen what goes on in here, and they know what goes on in here. But to see it on on a screen like that, you just it, it can't help but make people think bad about you. But because. It is kind of like a family, the way we're all living together and, 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 you know, 24 hours a day and everything. And because me and Chantelle are younger, I feel really like we're just little kids now. The relationship I have with Pete is so bizarre. Because I really, I like him and I really respect him and I think he's intelligent and I think he's, I think he's really cool and everything. But he, he's like a... He just is so, com like, completely inappropriate the whole time. And it's funny, but, like, it's just, so, you know, it gets a bit much sometimes. Like, he, he makes these, like, flirtatious comments to me or whatever. But he only does it to do my edit, you know what I mean? I don't know, it, this house would be, you know, infinitely worse without him. 12 or 3 p.m. Chantel, Preston, Michael and Ruler are in the kitchen. Michael has been tidying the house for 61 minutes. Michael, look how obsessive compulsive you've done the chairs. Hi. you just done the chairs in total obsessive compulsive line. Yeah. No, it's getting worse, isn't it? Is it a sign of stress? Stress you're stressed out? Or is it just some boredom? No, nah, that's straight lines. You're not bothered. If I do this, it doesn't... Pete, Maggot and Tracy are in the bedroom. What colour are your towels, Pete? Brown. Brown what? What brown? Rusty brown, they're by the... No, no, they're mine. No, I got rusty brown last night. And you're dark, you're dark blue. Let's keep calm, as long as 
We've got enough sets of towels, we're fine. Yeah. Well, we must be short somewhere. Somebody's used two lots of towels. Joe, say guy. Thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit worried, actually, because the look on his face has changed. It's sort of slightly... Well, when, uh, when, you know, when we had this mix-up over the towels, Eddie, it, it looked as if he might... with the uh, beat... He He's might very flare nervous. up. Oh, I didn't realise. But honestly, when I came what, out got out early this morning, everything was in little lines and oh, kept really? readjusting so all the, you know, the, the names were facing the right way. No, I serious didn't know that. I didn't even notice. What, have you just noticed or you actually... No, no, no. I mean, it's... I it's think it's over the last 24 hours, the last couple of days. got more and more busy. But it's because it's the, the final straight, final isn't straight, it? Yeah. Do you look like it's folding again, look. No, he just has to keep moving all the time. Well, I think he's just busy himself, busy in himself. Well, that, no, but yeah, that yeah, is part of... I mean, look at the chairs over there. Yeah, I know. It's, everything... it's not practical for them to be like that anyway, because you'd just be sitting next to someone. But everything <laughs> has to be in a row. He told me about that earlier. Yeah, he told me about tidies, that. Tidies, the, the cupboards, yeah. everything yeah. has to be, you know, the handles have to be facing oh, yeah, well, the same no, way. When I put the beams in that in there, he said, can I have the labels showing? But then that's, that is practical, though, isn't it? Because when you open the cupboard, you've got to start fiddling yeah, about. Yeah, but there's a difference between practical and obsessive. Yeah. Mm. You know, now I really feel um, that much as I did in the kitchen in the beginning, that's what keeps him level now. I think that's the way... And the fact that he now doesn't sleep longer than maximum two hours at a stretch, he's up all the time. I find eye contact difficult with him now. Really? Yeah. He's, his eyes wander. Yeah, maybe you're, maybe you're right. <laughs> 12.41pm. Pete is in the bedroom. Oh well, eviction tonight. I tell you. No, you know it's like out of, the, out of those people. It's Ruler, Tracy, and Maga. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. I hope, well, I know who I hope goes. <laughs> you don't care, right? Well, two out of three. There's one I hope stays. George, Ruler, Chantel, and Preston are in the kitchen. Pete's actually tidying up his stuff. Yeah, What's well, happening? He's packing, isn't he? Packing? He's not Unpacking. even nominated. Unpacking. 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 On deer two, Pete told Ruler that one of his coats was made of gorilla fur. Two days ago, this coat was removed from the Big Brother house and handed to the police. So far, Pete has not noticed that the coat is missing. What's well, that gorilla coat? I took it back. Well, hold the gorilla coat. What? The coat. <clears throat> oh, uh, oh, where is it? I just noticed, swear to God, I just noticed, like, where's that coat? <laughs> uh, that's a bit weird. Swear to God, I said, where's that coat? Swear to God, I thought you took it and put it in your bag. No. Because you would, because when you was nominated, you had that coat on. Hmm. Did you pack the gorilla coat? That's the other day, did the gorilla coat go in the suitcase? Yes, it was right at the bottom. It's not in there. Right at the bottom of one side. OK, hold on. Is it not there? No. Mm, it's rather unusual. I'll just check with that. Have you, t have you checked the suitcase again? The suitcase, nothing. Nothing. Thanks, Dana. I just noticed that's a word. I put it right at the very okay, bottom hold. of one side. OK. Conspiracy. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> Thanks, Take Dennis. All. Take it Ooh. all. That's not Nothing funny. Left. Take it all. Hi, big brother. Hello, Pete. My gorilla fur coat is missing from my suitcase. It was packed by ruler. And uh, Dennis has just noticed it's not amongst my luggage or anywhere in the bedroom. Pete, big brother can assure you the coat isn't safe hands. It's not. 
in my hands and I want that coat back within the next two hours. That's interesting that Pete had realised his coat was missing until... I realised yesterday, I I thought he just had it packed up somewhere. Pete, what's the mood in the house like today? I don't give a fuck. Mine's vile. Absolutely vile. Because those kind of things... I feel very unstable in here anyway and disorientated and that's just absolutely pissed all over the chips. I'm furious. I don't give a fuck about the mood in the house. I want that coat back in the next two hours and I would beg you to do your very best to get me that coat back. Or else I'm not going to take part in any other damn thing that goes on in this house. I'm not going to go and sit in that room when you do the eviction process. I'm not having anything to do with anything until I got the coat back in my hands. So do what you want. Throw me out and I'll get my own coat. He would have never known it was gone. I can't say one thing about it. And they go, we assure you it's in safe hands. I want that fucking coat back in two hours. God. I can't fucking believe that. <laughs> it's telling everyone. Uh, it's telling everyone. We can assure you it's in safe hands. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. I mean, I'm disorientated enough on no sleep, and when something vanishes into thin air, and if I hadn't asked them, they wouldn't have told me. Mm. No, it's not right. Well, they've got two hours to get it back, because I'm not even going to sit in the room for the eviction. I'm on complete fucking strike. And if it's not back at the end of two hours, I'm leaving. That's like a fucking head game. What next can be removed? Oh, I took that tartan top because I don't like what it looks like on camera. Took the blonde hair, doesn't suit you. Fucking... He's going off on one now. He's coming out blazing. Be all right. I don't be all right. Like him, I think he should tell him shit. It's all good. I'm absolutely shaking with rage, big brother. And it's completely freaked me out. It's thrown me off a very delicate balance. I want the coat back or let me go. I'm not a 10-year-old. I'm fully aware of the kind of rumpus it will cause. I stand by freedom of choice. I brought that in, it was fine. I wear it on an almost daily basis, it's fine. I'll deal with the fucking consequences. The day going to walk again, isn't he? Hmm? He's saying he's going to walk out again. Isn't he? He doesn't want to walk out. No, 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 no. He won't walk out. <laughs> he won't forfeit his money. On Friday, Big Brother was told by the police that they needed to get the coat. <laughs> the police had received complaints from members of the public asking them to investigate whether or not the coat was made from gorilla fur. So my fucking coat is in police custody? At the moment, yes. My coat has been arrested. My coat causes such a furore in 2006. It's about freedom of fucking choice. It's an antique coat. It's mine, and I'll take this matter to the highest conclusion. It's okay. a violation of human rights. What are they going to do? Arrest me on the street because I'm wearing a gorilla skin coat? What would they do if it was Missy Elliott? What would they do if it was Puff Daddy? They wouldn't do anything because they'd scream racism. It's not the coat. It's me in the coat. It's compounding the issue. I happen to be pro-conservation and very definitely anti-fur, but I'm also pro-personal choice. Pro-choice. Pro-choice. He is totally controversial from top to toe anyway. I've walked off bigger things than Big Brother on the principle of a matter, be it a coat, my makeup, or my lack of clothing. This is just another one, and I'm willing to go. I've had enough. One thirty pm most of the housemates are at the dining table. But you notice he hasn't worn it <laughs> no. since the first few days. So listen to this. On Friday, the police came. They wanted to take the coat from the house because gorillas an endangered species. It's in police custody. The coat has been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> 
Funny right there. And it's put in, in solitary confinement. It's in custody. They're having it analysed. If it is gorilla, then they've got to have an expert come in and find out exactly how old it is. Oh my God! McHoke's been arrested. It, it, isn't, it can't be gorilla. There are no black and white gorillas. It's been arrested. McHoke's in a cell. Just <laughs> sort of pepper place. Well, it's a pew. Well, my lawyers are onto it with the police that. as That's well. You can't do that. Well, you can. Where? The police can do it. Why? They can confiscate anything. Can... But, but why? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of no shit like the confiscate the fucking coat. Right, if it was gorilla, no. it would be a crime. Now, we know it's not gorilla. So but... it's no more a crime than leopard or cheetah or elephant skin makeup case or anything like that. It's not a crime. Well, these are crimes now, aren't they? It is now a crime to If kill. you import it into the country, it's a crime, yeah. but it's not a crime to wear it on the right. street. It it's a bizarre story. It's a bullshit story. I mean, they can go to anybody's house and confiscate their fucking furs and nothing. All that bullshit. Mm. That's what it means. Mm. Yeah. It's the same principle as knowing who the drug dealers are, but arresting the addict, but leaving the drug dealer. Arresting the drug? Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe there's somewhere in this country a police station analysing my coast. No, nobody does in America. Hell no. I can't believe it either. I mean, it's in America. Jordy's final revenge. <laughs> oh, they should confiscate her saggy breasts. But, I mean, that's like going into anyone's house and arresting all coats that people choose to buy. <laughs> Excuse me, don't let me have a little bit, Michael. Let it's a fashion crime. And it's just, you know... <laughs> Come out the cupboard. <laughs> you know you're in there. Come on. We've got the cupboard surrounded. The sleeves up. Come on. George, they're having a debate as to yeah. will you come in and talk to them with me? Yeah. 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 Come yeah. Come yeah. Come on. I'm they're doing like, that now. I am I screaming too much at that wall. What's yeah. it, <laughs> Double <laughs> knit ply jumper. <laughs> there. <laughs> come out of the cupboard. There. Uh. Come out of the cupboard. Come out with your sleeves up. <laughs> Two eighteen PM. Chantelle, Dennis, and Tracy are in the bedroom. Excuse me, how are you doing, Chantelle? Yeah, fine, thanks. <clears throat> oh, I start saying thanks. Hey, how you doing? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but it's polite, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> It's polite manners, isn't it? Please and thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, I know, thank you. It's like, I'm fine, thank you for asking. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> George and Michael are in the log cabin. It's like, it's like the coat. Everybody's got views, one way or the other. Mm. It's a perfect, I'm sure they're perfectly laudable and correct. And that's arguable. I'm sure. Mm. But at the end of the day, in the whole scheme of things, it's a coat. If the animal was still wearing it, that's another question. Yeah. Some of the housemates are in the seating area. You're honky, that's what you are. You're fucking honky. You're in black that's makeup. Honky. That's bullshit. We analyse your paintings. <laughs> <laughs> your paintings have been analysed. Ah, oh, you funny bastard. What? OK, the paintings been analysed. It's all on the exterior, the dark house, and she tried to rub it out. It's a whole turn of her head, and the inside's white and strangely empty. But look at Dennis's, this is white on the inside, too. Oh, Pastor, I didn't try, I didn't try to portray the fact that I was fucking, you know, couldn't, you could even, you could even explain your whole fucking, you know, picture. Well, I'm talking about Dennis, Tracy. Anything else you want to pick up me about? That wasn't a pick on, that was, you see, when people make an observation, that's not picking. I didn't say a fucking word. If I leave and go over there, are you going to still pick on me? Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I accept you. I'm not, I ain't mad at you. I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you, too. I'm not mad at you, Dennis. I'm not. You're honky. That's what you are. Okay. What's a honky? Yeah, explain what a honky is. Huh? Go ahead. You're a white person. Mm. And that makes me racist? You said it, not me. Mm. You said it. Four fourteen p.m. Michael is in the bedroom.
Some of the housemates are at the seating area. And I'm really upset. I know you're upset, but you've been upset before. No, and you've recovered like from it. You're not a strong, like this, you're a strong not like person. This. That's like a burglary. That counts precious to me. That's oh, like age, a age. But they can't establish its age till it's, the end of the week. That's a, the end of the show. It's a monkey. It? It's a monkey. It's not a gorilla. It's a monkey. It's a Colob Columbus monkey. Columbus monkey. Columbus monkey. Ruler is in the diary room. I just wanted to communicate how angry I am with myself because of my cowardice with Pete who has to make a drama out of everything, of not standing up for one of my big beliefs and my big involvements, which is for conservation. Preston and Chantel are in the log cabin. And then I was saying about... Uh, um, that, they, ..that they think that you and Joel just... Um, ..that Tracy at first thought that you and Joel just scared of Dennis. I said, there's no one in there scared of Dennis. Why? There's no reason. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what George feels about, but George makes so many, like... Allowances for him. I, know, I don't know why. Big, big champ, big boy. Big yeah, kids. yeah. He's a rude ignorant. He's ignorant. He's just a big, like, He's just sort ignorant. of chauvinistic pig, isn't he? I don't like him at all. And I know he'd love to. I'd. He'd love to shout me down, or he'd love to shout everyone down. And he's going, oh, if I want to call shit every day in here, I will, and I can. I can call shit if I want to. Yeah, we can all call shit if we want to, can't we? I think he thinks he's like a household name in England, but he isn't. Oh, it just winds me up so much. He's just so rude and so ignorant. And he swears to death that he don't fancy Tracy, but you can see it right there. No, it does my nut in that bloke. Yeah. It really does my nut in. Mm. Five twelve pm Tracy, Ruler and Maggot are in the bedroom. Everybody has their feelings about things. And they're all valid. Yeah, but we're not always allowed to voice them because... Yeah, y y I agree. It's hard some to sometimes... Some people here have priority above everybody else. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get your point Certainly across. Certainly in commanding the group's attention. It's been three hours and 17 minutes since Pete requested that Big Brother return his court. And I think it's the dirtiest, dirtiest, filthiest fucking son of a bitch of a trick you've pulled yet. Pete, Big Brother will get back to you. But Big Brother... I'm not prepared to wait very long. You've got your pathetic eviction circus going on tonight. Will we have to sit in that disgusting room listening to taped applause and Davina's bated breath for a foregone conclusion. And I, for one, am not willing to take part. And I will also ask several other housemates if they'll sit it out for me. So therefore, you'll have a very empty eviction room. I'm not breaking any law by doing that. I'm asking them a question if they're willing to not bother with the eviction. It's not an issue that we are pissed off at the circumstances when we first came here. It's not about that. It's not about that. You know, like I said, I'm cool, whatever, going on, I'm cool. But when it comes to, you know, you want, everyone wants to get along and have a good relationship in this house, you know, I'm just here to support Pete for something that, that, that's precious to him, and that's it. We're here to play a game, to finish the game out, but I think in this instance, you guys have to deal with him personally to fix this and do something, reconcile him or do something for him. I'm not fucking cigarettes and alcohol, because that ain't good enough. <laughs> Six twelve p.m. Preston, Chantel, and Michael are in the kitchen. Now watch that stuff. Put your, put your finger over it like that, so you got control over it. Right, what okay. comes out, your thumb. A tiny, tiny bit, round, right round the outer edge. Just not too much, so it'll kill it. That's it. So uh, Yeah. It's done. Yeah, leave it like that. It's fine. Okay. That's nice, Chantal. Wicked. George and Pete are in the diary room. There are two things Big Brother thought it would be useful to discuss with you now. First of all, the law relating to the wearing of a coat made from colobus monkey fur. And secondly, the circumstances relating to the removal of your coat from your suitcase, Pete. This is what Big Brother has been able to ascertain regarding the law, OK? The colobus monkey is an endangered species. It's protected under the CITES Convention, 
that stands for the Convention in Trade of Endangered Species. It's a worldwide law which each country then adopts into its individual Act of Parliament. The CITES Committee, which is a worldwide organisation, meet regularly to discuss and decide which species should be on which annex. That's a list of endangered species. Annex A, the main annex, includes all the species of most concern, i.e. the ones the world wants to protect. Annexes below that are of less international concern. All primates are on Annex B, i.e. every type of monkey. All gorillas are on Annex A. Pete, as you said that the coat was a gorilla coat, this became a matter of concern for the police after they received a number of complaints. The police have now established the coat isn't made of gorilla fur, but is made of colobus monkey fur. The I'm delighted. The colobus monkey is on Annex B. Even though Annex B is of less concern, there are offences attached to the use of furs of species in this category. The main one relates to how the coat made it into the EU or into Great Britain. What are you going to do about it, George? You say something, because I, I, I haven't got it in me. I'm exhausted, I'm in shock, and I am traumatised. My dealings with the police throughout the 90s and the early 2000s in desperate situations, I've nearly been arrested by the police for plastic surgery when someone has burgled my home. I have no faith in the legal system whatsoever. And this is another violation. We're now in a... We're now in a sticky situation. Um, I'm trying my very best to keep Pete in the show. My suspicion is that you'd quite like to keep him in the show too. So I did ask earlier, and I understand from Pete that he has also asked, whether or not some financial compensation could be offered, it would be confidential, I would leave the room, you could talk to Pete about it and perhaps reach agreement with him and bind him to secrecy about whatever you did agree. That would strike me as only fair in the circumstances. Six forty four PM. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Dennis comes to the diary room. Ow oh, shit. Hello, Dennis. Oh, it's you again, huh? <laughs> Is your head OK? <laughs> you guys are funny, man. Anyway, I don't know what you guys do here, here but these people smoke. <laughs> they smoke like chimneys. And I think you guys, uh, I think this, this environment needs to be a little more relaxed and a little more open, a little more laughter in the house. Right now, it's just a little too depressed, I think. It's gone. No. <laughs> Dennis, Big Brother can confirm that Big Brother will supply a small amount of alcohol, cigarettes and cigars. You know what? That's a smart thing to do. I think you agree with me, Big Sister, that if you do that kind of, not small alcohol, you have to do something like more like three, four bottles of red wine, maybe one bottle of white wine, loosen people up a little bit. I know these things because I do that th those things in my house because I got cameras in my house too. So these things right here will loosen everybody up, you know, have some coming relief, some emotions, this, that, that. But you tell you one thing, you'll never break me down. You'll never get me. I tell you right now, you will never get the rotten money in. I'm always be here for you guys. <laughs> Dennis? Yeah? Why do you have cameras in your house? Oh, I did the same show. I, did, I probably did one of the very first um, reality shows in the country. I had the Robin, T Robin TV, and I had cameras just like this in my house. I had a three-story house on the beach. As far as I throw parties, I throw, put on the TVs and show people where they're at in the house. 
I throw parties in my house four times a week, and uh, when I'm not there, people throw having parties. And you're free to do anything you want to, anything you want. Go in the ocean and get on the boat and jet ski, water ski, parasail. That's what I got in my house. Whatever you want, whatever you want to do. You know, you can run, you can run topless, bottomless, whatever. That's what we do in my house. We don't care. Just, you know, sunshine every day. It's beautiful. And uh, people come to my house. They love it. So, like I said, I have no discrepancy with anybody here. Please don't. George, <laughs> save me. Him. You might as well give in. <laughs> They're going to get trouble. Oh, no, don't. Do don't. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, I'm a cashmere, do you know what I mean? Oh. If you were to have a party, which housemates would you invite? Actually, I'd probably invite all of them. You know, I say, you know what? I'm having a party in my house this weekend. Come down for the summer for a weekend. Put you guys up. Let's have a good time. Show you how I do it over here. We do it down here on the beach. And have a good time. I'm pretty sure they'll probably all come if I invited them. I'll bring them all down. What the hell? <laughs> Would you invite Big Brother to your party? Honey, I'll put it like this. When this is all over, when it's all over, and if you guys want to come to my house, or even, even in London, if I'm in London, you guys want to go out and have a good time, a beer, stuff like that, no matter if I leave tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, Everybody's invited. I don't care. It's all good. It's all welcome. And I tell people, I tell my housemate the same thing every day. I said, no matter what happens, we're going to see each other, have some laughs, have a beer. So just don't take this too serious. Just come in with a pound, boom. Pff. See you later. A transvestite running around <laughs> after a very young boy. Um, what, would the, what would the neighbors say? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? We've got six more days in this house. Let's keep a suspense going. <laughs> oh, please don't be. I'm sorry. You got me knees. first. On your knees. <laughs> oh, Pete, you fucking knobhead. Nine thirty-three p.m. Big Brother has asked the housemates to gather in the living room for tonight's eviction. Pete is in the bedroom. Big Brother rules state that it is compulsory for all housemates to sit in the living room during the eviction. He shoot himself in the foot, yeah. They'll evict him without a penny if he breaks the rules. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas at the moment, he's in a good position, strong position with them. I know, but... But he has to keep obeying the rules, I told him. As hard as I could tell him. Yeah. He'll run it down to the wire. Well, I hate this. Pete's, Pete's staying in the bedroom, stealing my bloody thunder. Yes, he won't get to see me make my dramatic exit. Yeah. Thank you, honey. Mind over matter, mind over matter. Uh-oh. Whoosh. I'm glad we had this time together to have a laugh. And Big Brother House, this is Davina. Uh -oh. Hi, Davina. Oh, you are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. No swearing. Hey. No swearing. No swearing. Maggot. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. 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 And Tracy. Hello. Hi. Hi. Lines are closed, the votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the third housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... Oh. Wow. Wow. Lula! Yourself. Oh, baby. All right, baby. 
Bye bye. Okay, you have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you. I'll be sorry she never got the chance to say goodbye to Pete. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh they <laughs> should go by to Pete. <laughs> Mike, you want to pick a fight? You want to pick a fight? I'll stand right there in front of you and pick a fight with you. How about that? Is that good? We got it right here. You ready? Eleven twenty p.m. It's been one hour and forty-seven minutes since Ruler became the third housemate to be evicted from the celebrity Big Brother house. George and Pete are at the seating area. Something's wrong with Michael. No. Why? Uh, he's getting fed up of you. Of me? That's what I think. He likes to be the centre of attention. How do you think so? Well, I've noticed he never stops talking about himself when we're up at night. But big deal, I don't mind that. I don't mind. I adore him. If that's his thing, that's fine. If you want my throat and just ask me, I'll get off it. Everyone's going crazy and they're turning on each other. Preston and Chantel are in the kitchen. He was well ignoring me today. What? He was well ignoring me today. When? This morning. No, when? Mm. No, I'm doing it for your benefit. I'm just trying to. Do you know what I mean? No. When? Ignoring you. What? I'm only being nice doing that. Do you want another bit? Yeah. Do you want to have it with me? No, no I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. So you were on purpose doing it? What? You know what I mean? I'm ignoring you. I was just so you did it for my environment on purpose? I was just keeping my distance. I was making sure I wouldn't be paranoid. No, you weren't being paranoid. I was just keeping it like, yes. away because, do you know what I mean? But I'm doing it for you. I'm not doing it for any other reason. Well, I'm being nice. Eleven forty two PM. Some of the housemates are in the kitchen talking about Pete. I imagine he's upset by the old day's events, but it seems that one if one thing goes wrong it triggers off a whole load of other yeah. stuff, you know. Yeah. It seems to actually cheer him up a little bit to have chasing me around the garden and everything. Yeah. So for my head. Even though I thought you were going to kick, kick your head in. Yeah, I, was, uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought it might. It was, it was definitely a definite possibility. Pete is in the diary room. Pete, you've mentioned to Big Brother several times today that you would like to leave. Mm. What is your decision? I'll decide in the morning. And Pete's in the diary room again. He's been called in. Sort of 
bother me now. Talking about in the morning. How much is it for get? Two packs. <clears throat> Just two packs? Yeah. Packs. Where are they then? I gave you a pack earlier. Oh, those ones you're talking about? Yeah. I got two bases now. Oh, you got more? Yeah. So you're in charge of them? Oh, yeah. All right. How does that work then? <laughs> because you asked for them? Yeah. So they're for you, are they? Oh, you guys. I'm bargaining to them. Are they for you or for us? For, for all you of guys. So why have you got them then? Well, why aren't they just out on the table so we can take them? Why do, why do, why do you have to, why do you self-appoint yourself to look after cigarettes? You can have a cigarette. That's like me having the food in there and uh, dishing it out when I feel it's necessary. <laughs> you can have a cigarette. <laughs> I'm sure I can, but I mean, why have you self-appointed yourself to have the cigarettes? Why do we have to come to you for a cigarette? You don't have to come to me for food, you're just going open the door. Why aren't the cigarettes out on the table? Uh, you can have them, but I remember giving you a pack of cigarettes two hours ago. Uh -huh. right? What happened to them? Yeah, they're there. Okay. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. So you, you gave cigarettes to everybody else, haven't you? No. You've given cigarettes to Peter, separately? Where are they? If you want cigarettes next time, you go ask them. I don't give a shit. But I'm saying, why you got your cigarettes I gave you in the drawer? And why he has it in the drawer? Why he has it in the drawer? Why he has it in the drawer? Why they got to have it yeah, in the drawer? But he doesn't dish them out. <laughs> he's, he's I know. Well, like I say, it's not a big deal, guys. No, it's not a big deal. But so then it, we're supposed to be all uh, in one union here. Why aren't the cigarettes in one place and can be taken and left there? Like the lighter. You didn't ask me for cigarettes earlier. I just gave you a box. Yeah, but why are you now hold every time you hold on to those? Why are you holding on to the okay, next one? Okay, Mike, we don't want to get you upset, okay, bro? Okay, no, bro? You know, I'm just asking you a straightforward question. I ask you a straightforward question. Where's your box? Give me the box back, let me put them on the table. I can put my box on the table, fine. Okay, great. It's just it's as simple as that. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. He wakes up with a fucking attitude, huh? Next time you ask one fucking pack of cigarettes, you go get them to fucking sell. Oh, oh, like thank you. Oh, look, I'm appreciative of them, Dennis. You know. I, I don't give a shit. The thing is, right, Dennis went in and he asked for cigarettes and booze, and they gave him cigarettes and booze. And Dennis took the cigarettes and put them over there, nice and safe, just out of the way. You know, mm -hmm. Mike was woken up and was like, why are, you, why are you the keeper of cigarettes? But it's just like, oh, God, you know. Oh. There you go, there's your cigarettes. Okay, so well, you want me to sling the food on the table and say you oh, get the food when Lord, you want? God, you you, want, you want me to have attitude? Throw the food on the table. All right, Mike, you want to pick a fight? You want to pick a fight? I'll stand right there in front of you and pick a fight with you. How about that? Is that good? We got it right here. You ready? Are you, you ready? You can have a fight. Anytime. Are you ready? Are what, you what, ready? What, I, what, I can what stand you, it. What do you call a fight? Just shout I'll, at each I'll other? Is that a fight to you? What are you calling a fight? Are you threatening me? Uh, oh, God. Here we are you go threatening again. me? Here we go again. Are you threatening me? Why would I threaten you? That's, if you want to take it that way, that's fine, Dennis. I'm not taking it. Dude, like I said, I'm the most calm person in the uh, look, Dennis, we can all switch words around and fly around with them, you know? We can play those games if you want. That's fine. <laughs> you want to play games with words? I'll play games with words with you all night if you want. I don't mind. I've got plenty of energy, Pete. I can go all night. Dennis. Hey, sorry. Don't matter. Call me any name you want. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. Whatever you say, let's just do it. That's great. Like I say, I can analyze you any day of the week, brother. Any day of the week. You cannot outtalk me, outsmart me. I don't give a shit. Let's go at it, Biggin. Are you ready to go out sit over here? You yakking yak, and let me hear you. Come on, Michael. Come at me as much as you want to. You can never get under my skin, brother. Never. You really think it bothers me whether I get under your skin or not? I know, but Dylan, still, how many times I've gave you a pack of cigarettes? We have to calm Dennis down. How do you calm Dennis down? You just have sex with him. Yeah, you have to get him out of the situation. But Michael's not going to back down from Dennis. Dennis isn't. He just. I think he's 
deprived of sex, and I think he he's bored and he misses his kids. But he doesn't. Well, I'm not going to have sex with him. I'm not either. And he no, needs, not either. He needs to. He needs to take. Hey, baby, out. if we all had a little bit. <laughs> How many times have you had food brought? I don't to you? give a shit. You don't have to make me no food. Are you serious, brother? I bring food to him. I brought food to okay, him. Okay, but all of a sudden you I don't give a shit. You guys. I don't segregate. You try to tell me that you don't do that kind of shit, right, Mike? Right, Mike? Dennis. We go on it. I don't care. It's all love, baby. It's always love here. But dumb dumb here was caught here. Are you talking about cigarettes? Oh shit! I forgot, Mike. I gave you a pack of cigarettes earlier. You did that, huh, Mike? You did that, huh? I can do this all night, laugh in your fucking face. It don't matter to me. I'm not fragile. You the fragile one here. Really? I haven't cried in this house. You have. Or when some dumb bitch got you up round, you go outside and start crying like a little bitch. What? Don't give me a don't give me a don't give me a story, uh, guy. Don't give me a story. So that's, that's that. that. Okay. He went headlong into that, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. <clears throat> there was no need. Why are you keeping the cigarettes? Totally unexpected blow up, yeah? Yeah. Y'all fucked up, baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Is that okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm cool. Before spiting off from the big mic just about now, ruler.